It's the channel that you choose. We're coming back to YouTube. Make sure you turn on the notifications because they back on the shadow band. Always hating. Stay to the end so you can find out how you can win a free Xbox, PlayStation. Details are waiting. What does that think? That sound good? I'm going to roll with that one. 42 Doug reportedly in plea negotiations in federal gun possession case. Damn. It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe and join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H, one word. That's where you and I can stay in contact, plus I'm going to personally follow you back, like your pictures and all that. To the crew, that's the truth. We're up with the visionaries. Federal prosecutors in Georgia have begun a plea deal negotiations with 42 Doug in the Detroit rapper's illegal possession case of a gun. And both sides say they're optimistic a deal will be hammered out soon. In court records filed this month, 42 Doug's attorney confirmed that the plea negotiations are in works and added both parties are still hopeful that a resolution can be reached in the near future. It is a strong sign that 42 Doug is willing to plead guilty to a federal offense. Both prosecutors and defense attorneys asked for an evidentiary hearing, I mean hearing that was scheduled for May 24 to be postponed due to the negotiations. At the hearing, a judge was supposed to hear the arguments on a defense motion to throw out evidence found on 42 Doug's phone. 42 Doug was charged in federal court in Georgia with possessing a firearm as a felon. A federal judge, I mean a federal fence that carries up to 10 years in prison. The charging record simply alleged that 42 Doug went into a gun range in November 2019. Damn, that sucks. During the investigation, federal agents served a warrant on 42 Doug's phone and accused him of having ties to Detroit area gang called the Hustle Boys last February. Three people who were now fatally shot while 42 Doug and Los Angeles rappers were filming a music video in the Atlanta area, which had nothing to do with them, by the way. 42 Doug remains on pre-trial release and is allowed to travel for business purposes. According to court records, typically in federal plea deals, the judge has a final say in determining his sentences, but prosecutors agree not to seek more than a pre-agreed prison term. <sighs> knowing, 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 knowing. It's no longer half the battle. It's like 80%. Then doing is 20%. Y'all got to know what consequences come with anything you do. It's simple. If you eat Taco Bell, you better be around the toilet in the next 30 minutes. You see what I'm saying? If you eat a lot of food in general, you better make sure that you ain't doing nothing for at least the next two, three hours because you're about to fall asleep. Old people call it the artist. How does this correlate to 42 Doug? Easy. You know you are a felon. You know when you go into a gun range, there's a lot of cameras. What you didn't know is that there's a spotlight on you in general all the time. You may not have wanted it. I can guarantee you that. And the spotlight that you want definitely ain't for no goddamn gun case and all that shit that's guaranteed but one thing that we cannot forget and that we have to stop doing is moving like we don't know better when we actually do i'm gonna tell y'all this 42 doug if you really wanted to shoot guns and everything like that bro what you should have did let's have some shit set up somewhere remotely out of everywhere shit i mean out of sight from everybody and no goddamn cameras yeah, it's fun shooting a gun. It's dope to challenge your homies to, bro, I can hit this, you can't hit nothing, bro. You probably shoot like you like you back in the movies. But in the end, is it worth it? In the end, is it worth it? More than likely, I think what's going to happen with dude is he's probably going to get like a year and then parole. Well, I believe what they said and some other shit that I read is that he's seeking a lengthy probation, I mean, parole sentence. We'll see, man. I mean, 
we got to operate differently, bro. You always got to operate like you're supposed to know some shit. I know that if a bride is drunk as hell around me, I know it's on me to watch everything she do and make sure nobody take advantage of her ass. Because you never know what shady ass character is around. I know that if I'm around a bunch of gangbangers and everything like that, that I need to be watching not just them shit that's around just in case somebody who don't like us might come around. We call that being on point. And who on point? Who on point? I'm not going to discuss what the hell being on point means in another sense because that ain't for the internet. But Youngin is a rising star and it's shit like this, bro, that keep derailing these young rappers, man. It's sad on one hand because nobody is willing to stand up to these rappers that absolutely love them. See, y'all got to understand the difference in when somebody loves you and somebody loves what you do for them. See, a lot of people I can guarantee that's around 42 Doug don't love the little dude at all. They love what the hell he does for them and the lifestyle and all the guts and glories and all that bullshit. Because if you absolutely love this dude, you would have told him, hey, look, man, you see that camera right there? You see all these cameras, bro? Oh, you, you got the, you doing this? Come on, cuz, that ain't, that ain't the move. Come on, man. You know, they getting all these other rappers. You don't even have to yell at him or go off. You can use his own logic for him. You can literally say, hey, bro, you know they getting all these rappers for shit like this, man. Don't be the next one. Come on, man. Oh, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Look, homie, I'm trying to tell you something. Look at all these goddamn cameras that's around here, man. What you want to do? You want to put yourself in that position? You want to risk your freedom on a maybe? Maybe they don't see you. Maybe they do. I guarantee you, if y'all start saying shit like that to these rappers, they're going to go, you know what, bro? You're right. You're right. Let me chill. Y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, streaming music, setting Nash music if you have not. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, why the hell not? Honestly, oh, because you want to win that free Xbox or you want to win the PS5 or whatever the hell, you know, the tickets to a concert or sport event or anything like that. Or we could give it to you in a gift card. Either way that goes, this is how you win. Be an active subscriber, like comment and share the videos the more that you do this the more you increase your chance to win it's that simple that fine that well may the best person win we definitely keep a lookout i have people who actually take tallies take notes and look at all this stuff because honestly it's kind of hard for me just to do every goddamn thing right <laughs> but either way that go man make sure you comment or like i mean comment and like be an active subscriber and stuff like that. Because I can see all of this stuff. It's called YouTube Studios. I check y'all out on the next video. Also, we'll put the playlist in the comments if you just want the videos to stream down. Check out the next video. Check out the last video. Thank you.